Have you ever wondered why hummingbirds, those tiny flashes of color, suddenly break into high-speed chases in your backyard? It might look playful, but there's something much more serious going on. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of hummingbird chases and why they're more than just aerial acrobatics. Let's get started. Hummingbirds chase each other primarily to defend their territory. These aggressive battles help them secure vital nectar sources and the best nesting spots. Here are the key reasons why hummingbirds engage in these territorial battles. First, food protection. Imagine needing to eat seven times your body weight in food just to survive. That's the life of a hummingbird. To ensure they have enough to eat, hummingbirds fiercely guard prime feeding areas, especially those with abundant flowers and artificial nectar feeders, where they often stake their claim. These tiny birds will chase away any intruders threatening their food supply, and that's where the drama begins. Next, breeding territory defense. During the breeding season, male hummingbirds take their territorial behavior up a notch. They chase away other males to keep the best nesting spots and ensure they have exclusive access to female visitors. It's not just about food, it's also about protecting their breeding success. Did you know a hummingbird can chase up to 200 intruders a day? That's right, these little birds are relentless in protecting their space. Lastly, establishing social hierarchy. Just like in any social group, there's a pecking order. Hummingbirds chase each other to establish dominance, define territorial boundaries and resolve disputes over resources. It might seem like chaos, but these chases help maintain order in their world. So how can you help reduce these territorial chases if you're setting up feeders in your yard. Try these simple tips. Set up multiple feeders about 10 to 12 feet apart. Create visual barriers like tall plants between feeding stations. Offer natural food sources by planting native flowers. And install feeding stations in different areas of your yard to spread out the birds. This way, you'll help reduce the aggressive behavior and encourage a more peaceful feeding environment. Here's an expert tip. The most intense chasing usually happens at dawn and dusk, when hummingbirds are most active. If you notice a lot of drama in your yard, try creating separate feeding zones with clusters of feeders or flowers. Now let's quickly answer a few common questions. How long do hummingbird chases last? Most territorial chases last just 10 to 30 seconds, but courtship chases can go on for 1 to 2 minutes. Do female hummingbirds chase too? Yes, females also defend food sources and nesting sites, especially when they have young to care for. Can hummingbirds hurt each other? While these chases can look intense, physical injuries are rare. It's mostly a high-energy display to avoid direct conflict. So the next time you see hummingbirds zipping around in your backyard, you'll know they're not just playing. They're engaging in important territorial behaviors that help them survive and thrive. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating insights into the world of birds. Don't forget to share this with other bird enthusiasts who might be wondering about the aerial acrobatics happening in their yard.